My name is Nick. And my name is Henry. And welcome back to the CVU Show. Next week on the 12th, juniors will be taking the PSAT, sophomores the pre-ACT, and freshmen will be taking iReady. This week, there is no school on Wednesday for Yom Kippur and teacher conferences on Thursday and Friday. Monday is Indigenous Peoples Day, so enjoy the six-day weekend. Calling families of CVU grads, the CVU Theater is putting on a production of Amelie, and we need your red graduation robes. Donations can be dropped off at the main office. If you would like your robe returned, please email Isora at IzoraHart at cvsdvt.org. The CVU Photo Club is going to be holding their first contest for the school year. You have a choice of three themes. The first is trees, foliage, and nature, followed by architecture, and finally, night photography. Entries are due by the 18th. Submissions should be in high resolution and renamed with the title of your image. Only three entries per person. Your entries can be emailed to Emily McLean at emilymcleen at cistvt.org or uploaded to the Photo Club shared folder. We sent our interview team out into the hallways to ask what is your plans for the six-day weekend. Here are your responses. Um, for my six-day weekend, I will be having practice every day still, so I'll be staying in shape and I'll catch up on some reading probably. Probably sleeping and doing, catching up on homework, probably reading and more sleeping. Really, I'm just gonna hang out with friends, have a good time, do work, go to work, maybe write more. Ooh, I'm gonna go to a restaurant with a friend, that's gonna be fun. Um, I'm definitely gonna be planning for creating an organized community club. Big things coming, all six days, we're planning, we're getting th big things coming, you know? Be there. During my six day weekend, I'm gonna work on my Common App and finish my college essay. So catching up on some school things and hanging out with friends. Uh, well, for the first couple days, I'm going up with my friend Matt, and I'm going to go surfing in New Hampshire. And then after that, I'm going to use the time to work on college stuff and maybe visit a couple colleges. I'm going to go to New York with my husband. I'm going to travel with my parents to different states. Um, it's New York City, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and I will visit my grandmother, grandfather, and I think it's going to be nice. You know, uh, I'm, it's football season right now, so we're preparing for Burn Burton on Saturday at 1 o'clock, I believe. So, yeah, just lots of prep for that, practicing every day for about two hours. Yeah, getting ready. Uh, for my six-day weekend, I'm going to Maine with my family. I'm going to visit my grandparents, and I'm going to visit the um, University of Southern Maine. Sorry. Thank you, everyone, who participated in the interviews. This week, we have a report from guest correspondent Joe Soros. Joe asked what gets you jazzed up for the school year. What gets me jazzed up for the start of school is meeting new friends. <laughs> and seeing old friends. Seeing old friends from last year. Probably buying new clothes and like shoes and stuff. Definitely, oh, I'm trying to fly my foot. Um, definitely buying new clothes and seeing friends again. All right. Yeah, I'd say hanging out with my friends, meeting new people, buying things. <laughs> Especially <laughs> school have. supplies. Yeah, yeah. I really like buying support. school supplies. It makes me feel organized. Yeah. <laughs> seeing my friends, um, seeing my teachers, uh, learn. Um, what gets me jazzed up for the start of school year? The, some of the clubs I'm part of, like Racial Alliance Committee and Gender Sexuality Alliance. Thanks for asking, Joe. I'd say what gets me excited for the start of the school year is seeing people I know again, being able to make new connections, and just being able to have new experiences. New clothes. <laughs> uh, change of weather in the fall. Uh, watching CB sports games. Normally just like making outfits, I guess. I don't know. I think what jazzed me up for the start of the school year was to see all my friends, you know? Okay, Joe, what gets me jazzed up for the start of the school year is seeing people like you, my colleagues, my students that I really love. Uh -huh. Hello, my name is Joe Soros, and what gets me super pumped for the start of the school year is meeting new people, the beginning of fall, and the Crystal School Competition. 
happy fall. You all have a great start to the school year. Go Red Hawks. Thanks, Joe. Seniors, remember, November 1st is a deadline for you to order your cap and gown. Check your email for a link to order online. Now let's hand it over to Matthew for sports. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of CVU Sports. This past Saturday, varsity football won 31-19 against Hartford and will now take on Burham Burton at 1 on Saturday the 8th. The girls varsity field hockey team will also play on the 8th against Burlington at 10 a.m. Boys varsity soccer coming off of a 4-2 win will now play at home against BFA on Thursday the 6th at 4 p.m. This week I interviewed CVU's rowing head coach Helen McAndrews. Let's take a look. So I am here with Helen, and if you want to go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Helen McAndrews. I am a life teacher here at CVU, but I'm also the CVU rowing coach. Want to tell us more about CVU rowing? So the CVU rowing team has been in existence at CVU since 2004 when I first came to CVU. I helped start the club here. Um, we, are, we row in collaboration with the Lake Champlain Maritime Museum. And it's different than <clears throat> crew because the boats that we row are called pilot gigs. It's actually called open water rowing. And um, the pilot gigs are boats that are replica boats that are built by the Maritime Museum. And uh, they are pretty substantial boats. So they each are about 32 feet long, five feet wide at the center point. They weigh 1,000 pounds. They have a pretty significant keel, which makes it so that we can row in really any kind of water. We have rowed out in the Broad Lake on Lake Champlain. We row in, um, in Boston on the ocean for our final race in uh, November when we do um, that race. We also uh, row typically at um, the Otter Creek in Virgins is where we practice. We have two seasons. We row in the fall and in the spring. Our fall season is our main season, but our spring season is still available for kids that want to join in the spring as well. We have about 30 to 40 students that uh, join our club in the fall, especially it's our biggest season. <clears throat> and so, uh, and it's open to anybody that wants to come. It's a club sport. And how could you sign up for this club if you're interested? So students can reach out to me, Helen McAndrews at cvsd.org, um, or H. McAndrews rather, sorry. And, uh, or they could find me here um, in the annex. You could reach out to any student that's currently in the rowing club. And also we run a C3 on Wednesdays. So if anybody wants to join us and see what it's about, come see us on Wednesdays at C3. Yeah, thank you, Helen, for your time. And back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Matthew. If you are applying to a college and need help with your common application, Ask your advisor to sign you up for C Free on a Wednesday to meet with counselors in the Direction Center. It's listed as Direction Center Special Topics. It will run until mid-November. If you plan on applying to a college for any early deadlines, please be 100% sure that you've reached out to your counselor to schedule an appointment as soon as possible. That's all the news we have for this week's show. See you next week.